Osaka. So right now we're in the uh, hostel I'm staying at right now. I don't want to be too loud and disturb everybody, but this is my very first time actually being at a hostel. I'm usually at Airbnbs and hotels whenever I come to Japan. And I gotta say it was pretty affordable here, like really, really affordable. So if you're skeptical about going to hostels, I think they're worth trying out. The one I'm at is called the dorm. It sort of has like a, a library kind of living space right here. Really cool. I really like the aesthetic. There's like wooden tables and everything, and there's like globes and lots and lots of books. But for both of the nights combined, I paid 28 US dollars. And unfortunately, I missed my flight the first day. So I paid for the first day, didn't come. So if you are curious about the dorm hostel, I'll leave it linked in the description down below. It said the latest time to check in was at 10 p.m., but my flight got delayed by four and a half hours yesterday. I was only able to get here at 11 p.m. and they still let me check in. So really cool staff at the, uh, the dorm, but yeah, it's in this building right here. It was a little hard to find. Man, oh man, does it feel good to be back here in Japan. I missed it. The last time I was actually here in Osaka, was I think two years ago with my girlfriend and my best friend and one of our mutual friends. It was us four. We were in Japan for a full month long. So if you guys want to see how that adventure went down, that's the start of the season four vlogs. I'll leave it linked down below. We're gonna grab some Matsuya. It's one of the most popular like fast food chains here. They serve like beef bowls and stuff like that. One last thing before we grab some food. It also turns out we're living in the Shinsebashi area right here. And this is a major shopping district. There are so many stores in the area. We're gonna have some fun this week and I hope you guys stay tuned for the vlog. So if you are new to the channel, think about subscribing or feel free to binge watch my other Japan vlogs. They helped a lot of people out who've come here and you know needed some ideas of where to go, what to do and, and places to see. One thing I really like about Osaka is that they always have these long, like sort of semi-indoor shopping mall strips. They go for a long, long way. So if it is raining, these are like clutch, especially if you want to kill some time too. Now, one thing I really enjoy doing here in Japan is this like hype beast thrifting kind of stuff. You go to these secondhand stores that sell often like thrifty kind of stuff along with hype clothing and designer brands and labels. One major chain right here in Japan is called Ragtag. And the last time I was in this exact area, it was closed because it was really, really late. But it looks, oh, they're closed right now, but it looks like they're gonna be opening up soon. I think we're gonna definitely have to stop by this store. Just like three stores down, check this out. This store here, Gallery Rare, has like a bunch of designer bags, LV backpacks, Gucci bags. There's even like a little a little bear brick down there too. These little Gucci bears. I didn't even know they made Gucci bears. I knew they made MCM bears. These are 20,000 yen. That LV backpack is 192,000 yen. And there's just a lot of designer stuff here. Check it out. So we might have to stop by here too. So right now I'm just doing some light shopping before we head over to the sneaker stores. I'm gonna be meeting up with a subscriber as well. So when we go over to the Nike outlets, we'll have some company. But before I uh, before I show you guys some more sneakers, or before I show you guys sneakers in this vlog, I wanna grab some lunch. And the one thing that always throws me off here is, is how real the fake food looks on display. So like one really common thing in Japan that you'll see is they have like displays of food at the front of a lot of restaurants. Like for example, we're here at another one. And 
All this food is fake. So we got some like katsu right here. All this food you guys see, that's all fake. And a majority of the restaurants, like I want to say 99% of the restaurants here besides fast food spots have fake food on display. It's really, really cool. It's a thing I've only seen here in Japan. So right now I'm looking for some lunch and if I stumble across any cool sneakers, then I will uh, definitely show them to you guys. All right, so we're grabbing some food at this conveyor bus sushi spot. Never been here before, looked really good. And uh, one thing I like about Japan too, is they have like little baskets for your bags and your belongings. So just down there, I have my bag stored, but take a look at the sushi. So those Jordans you guys just saw were the Air Jordan 1 Fearless, the face tasm collaboration on the Jordan 1 Mid. Those just released today, so we're actually on our way now to the three sneaker stores to see if they have them still available in store. There's a store in Tokyo that's reselling them, so I'm crossing my fingers that the resellers haven't scooped up all the pairs. So we'll go there right now to Nike first, and then we'll be going to the uh, Atmos and then like a kick slab right after. So we just pulled up to the Nike store right now and uh, yeah, let's go see what they got. So here is a look at what's at the Nike store in Osaka. Nothing really catching my eye yet. I know that these just released, this sort of thunder lightning print Nike React Presto is probably one of the better React Presto colorways to come out. These are like a loud highlighter, bright, bold, pink Air Max React 270s. These are 16,500 yen. I don't even think I could ever pull these off. This is a different kind of Air Max 270 React. We don't really see this kind of materials and pattern and color blocking on this shoe very often. Here's a look at the Air Maxes that they have. They got some Air Max 90 Essentials right here. This red, yellow, and uh, white colorway. Then they have these ones here, which are like fall and winter ready. So we have this wheat and black pair. We also have the 95s and also the 98s here as well. Ooh, these are pretty cool. I like this. You don't see a gradient kind of effect on the Air Max 97s very often. And this would go with my jacket perfectly. I'm wearing like a white and black uh, bape jacket right now. This would be really clutch and good for everyday wear. And then they also have this new wheat orange colorway. I think this is a really dope colorway for the Air Max 97 for fall. Of course, we got the fall essentials like the wheat Air Force One lows. They also have the high tops here too. Gore-Tex, this is the bold neon, not even neon yellow, but it's like a bold banana yellow colorway. We also have the black and gum, perfect for the fall and winter. An olive colorway here too. And this new Air Force One I've seen at a few stores in Toronto. But these, these are definitely catching my eye. A, a Nike SB dunk high sort of this brown olive canvas colorway wasn't expecting to find these these are pretty cool and in this corner of the store you can actually do nike ids or nike made by you as they call them now so here's like an air max one that they created that og color blocking i remember seeing these two years ago air force one mid chicago themed ones right here these are really cool and if you wanted to get these these are going to be 15,000 yen and you have to customize them like this. This is actually fire, man. Store number one down. Nike did not have any of the Air Jordan ones that I wanted, so none of the mids. And I also have my friend David here as well. He's a subscriber who shipped over the Japanese mystery boxes with those crazy Atmos Air Max Crazy Light 2. But I'll show you guys the shoes he's wearing today. So take a look at the shoes he has on today. These are the Halloween Shibuya Nike Air Force ones right here. And he picked these up in Osaka because they did a massive release in Japan for Halloween. So I'm on the hunt for these right now, but we're also looking for any other Shibuya exclusive Air Force Ones on this trip. Next store we're going to is called Sports Lab by Atmos, and I have no idea what to expect, but David did tell me that if there is an undefeated store in the area, we might be able to get lucky over there for the sneaker releases. And all these Christmas lights, they went up like last month, just after Halloween. It looks so, so cool. I'm a huge fan of it. And apparently they also shut down the streets for like the first week or so when they go up, so people can walk on the streets with all the lights everywhere. So really cool. Definitely want to bring my girlfriend here around Christmas time, because last time it was like May. So Japan trips with my girlfriend. You guys want to see them? Let me know in the comments down below. 
right at the front of the store. What on earth are these? Fall, winter, are these Nikes? I don't know, look at these crazy air unit. They're not even, they're heavy. These are heavy. What the heck am I holding? This this is crazy, man. They have a whole whole bunch of colorways here too. I didn't know they made actually a, a mid top or high top version of these. I only thought they made a low top. So it's my very first time seeing a high top version of these Air Force Ones. They have them in this white colorway. They have them in this sort of white and black colorway here too, with hits of this neon green. These are dope. These are some like Sean Witherspoon kind of vibes. Air Max 90 Quick Strikes right here. I think this is an Atmos exclusive. The last time I saw these was in Complex Con in California. These are the Air Force One low. And I think this is an Atmos collab. Sort of has these patchwork kind of vibes all over the sneaker. These are going for 12,000 yen. And these are really cool too. It's a special Air Max 95. All these different colors on the shoe, like a rainbow right here. We got the little heart here too. And then these are going for 18,000 yen. I think these are the LeBron 9 red carpet. I could be completely wrong, but this is a really, really dope colorway. And it's cool to see that they're retroing LeBrons now. I'm tempted to buy these. They don't have any sneakers in my collection that are this kind of like colorway. So. These are dope and these are going for 20,000 yen. What in God's name are these? The Li Ning Titans? These are actually like pretty dope in an ugly way. Like I, I want to like them. How would you style these? I want to like them just because of how outrageous these look though. These are pretty cool. These are 18,000 yen. They have them in two different colorways. This is the other more low key version they have. Sort of a brown and beige one. These are also 18,000 yen. How on? Okay, I could style these ones, but how would you, how would you style those ones? We got these like snakeskin Adidas. Adidas NMD R1s. I think these would have been fire if these released like five years ago, but in 2019, not as good now. This is a shoe I was looking forward to. They got the Reebok and Adidas collaboration on the Instapump Fury Boost. Now, if you guys know this shoe, the Instapump Fury is huge, huge, huge in Japan, but this is the first time they've actually put Boost on it, a collaboration with Adidas, and they can get away with this because Adidas does in fact own a Reebok. They have another colorway, the core black one you could call it, but I'm looking for those Ultra Boost OG inspired ones or the uh, that yellow or neon green pair but these simple colorways these are a pass for me for all my gamers out there we got the puma and tetris collaborations on the puma rsx check it out you can actually see like the puzzle pieces move right here on the back that's really cool i like that they did that a little detail they didn't have to include but they definitely worked their creative brains on these ones and then they also have the blade runner collaboration here as well and here are the puma rsx lights i've never seen this colorway before we also got the rsx cube the newest version or the newest member to the rsx family so these ones actually i really wanted i took a photo of them and i haven't posted it on instagram yet but then the next day champ sports actually sent these over to me so i'll be wearing these here in osaka japan huge huge fan of this sneaker and then they have two other colorways they really haven't seen this is a sort of like beige fall version you could call it not as loud as for example these other colorways and then they have a girlier one here too a predominantly pink one. We also have the Pusha T Oswegos that just dropped. Perfect for the fall season. 17,000 yen. I really like this colorway. Here is the other colorway they dropped as well. Not as big of a fan of this one. Just dropped the Star Wars Ultra Boost right here. These are really cool. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, so these are an easy pass for me, but these are 25,000 yen plus tax. I like this orange hit on the, uh, the three stripes right here. But these are pretty cool. I also like the print they did on the midsole. We've never really seen them do that before on the midsole, like a really detailed design like that. And then they also have the Ultra Boost 19. This is another Star Wars version right here. Again, very detailed on the boost. Not something we're used to seeing in that sort of dark gray sparkles. That's different, man. That's different. These are the brand new Ultra Boost uh, metal pack, I believe. And they have the gold colorway. These are insanely, insanely nice. If these came out three or four years ago when Ultra Boost was popping, these would have had some crazy high resale, at least double retail. But in 2019, it's just not as popping as they used to be. So they have the gold colorway. They had the silver chrome colorway. Which one do you guys like more? Let me know in the poll in the top right-hand corner, the silver or the gold. I'm going to have to go with this gold. I just love the way this metallic looks. And uh, yeah, this is, I would, I would cop this on a little bit of a discount. Not trying to buy too many shoes here in Japan. So right now we're walking across the, uh, the famous bridge that is basically the Shibuya crossing of Osaka, I want to call it. There's a lot of touristy stuff to do here and there's, oh, I just totally photobombed that lady, I feel bad. But yeah, there's so much to do here. Last time I was here with my girlfriend and everybody, we went on the Ferris wheel store, there's a yellow Ferris wheel here, really good view. And there's just so much loud neon bright lights, like this is sort of like the downtown core, I want to say. The nightlife, a lot of it is located in this area of Osaka. Here 
here we are. We're getting to the second Atmos here in Namba. It looks a little smaller. Let's check it out. Let's start off with the Air Forces, the same piers we saw at the other location. However, this is at eye level, so I can show them to you guys. It's the high top Air Force One, the same kind of print and pattern as these, just the black counterpart, and that's all. Here's a look at the Adidas section. They have a couple of 4D shoes. I think this is the Carbon Alpha Edge 4D. I don't know, it's not the Alpha Edge 4D Carbon, but it's just a different version of it. And I swear they released like so many white 4D shoes now. They have a black one here as well. These are 38,000 yen. And then they have the I Can, I Want pack here too. These are like some weird crinkled velour Stan Smith. These are weird, man. These are funky, very funky. 14,000 yen. They have a little lace thing here too. This golden Adidas Trafile logo. They got the Puma style riders right here. The blue and yellow colorway. While I have the, uh, the OG colorway here on feet today. I really mess with these. I'm hoping that Puma does send these over. Then they also have this orange colorway here too. This is the Puma Cell Endura Mugen. Mugen? I think that's like a, a motorcycle or a car brand of some sort. Not familiar, but they have all this Japanese text all over the shoe. That's pretty cool. We don't see Puma sneakers like this very often. They got these new Chuck Taylors, which sort of remind me of the Coca-Cola and the Kith collaboration. Here is the white and navy blue colorway. And here is the simple black and white. On to some Chucks. We got the 1970 Gore-Tex version right here. 15,000 yen for these. Weather proof beautiful chuck taylors they also have a black one here as well again gore-tex material so it's not your regular chuck taylor 1970 these are heavy duty here's a look at more of the nike selection that they got just a general overview we got some jordan ones right here we got the shattered backboard mid 13,000 yen and they also have the low top version here too these are going for 12,000 yen and these blue air force ones are pretty cool with the removable swooshes these are 12,000 yen then they also have the black one with the other removable swooshes here too. So that was it for the second at most here in Namba. Last store we're going to be going to is the Undefeated store. David is taking me to it right now. So I have a very strong feeling they're going to have the best shoes of the day. So Alright, so we just made it to Orange Street. We're gonna be here again later in the week for some more streetwear and hypey shopping, but Dave is taking us to Undefeated here. I've never been to an Undefeated in Osaka before, so I'm hoping that it's good. So Orange Street in Osaka is basically like the Melrose or Fairfax of Osaka. And uh, if you guys are looking for like streetwear, sneakers, hype stuff like Supreme and Bape, this is the space or the place you need to go to. I did do a vlog the last time I was here, so I'll leave that linked down below or the card in the top right hand corner of the screen right now. Here we go, Undefeated. Let's check it out. Oh my gosh, they have them guys. They have them. The face tassel and Jordan 1 mids. They have them in the size 10 on display. We're about to cop. It's about to go down. Man, these are so dope. I've always seen the brand Face Tasm whenever we do come to Japan. I think it's a really dope streetwear brand, and uh, I think it's really cool that they actually have a collab with Jordan Brand right here. So take a look at that leather. It's sort of that wrinkled grandma leather. Hits it just right on the contrast. This is gonna be a pair I beat up a lot. I'm really hyped for these. And here we go, on feet look. It's about to go down. David is getting a pair too, and take a look at the box. The box is really dope on these two, this black and red color scheme. I really, really messed with these. Dude, I'm so happy that we found these today. Super, super hype. These are going for 13,000 yen, and I might have to un-DS these for SneakerCon uh, Osaka tomorrow. All right, I am hyped. We just picked up the shoes right now. They're in the bag. If you guys want a full review, review coming soon on the channel. And if you guys made it to the end of the video, comment down below your favorite sneaker you saw in today's video. For me, it's gotta be these Air Jordan 1 face tassels. And make sure you guys subscribe so you can catch us in the next vlog at the outlets here in Osaka, Japan. Catch you guys then. Peace out.